What's up guys? I just wanted to go over the items that I got this shopping spree because um, there's a lot of new stuff. <laughs> yeah, you kind of see my counters taken over with food. And over here. <laughs> um, don't mind our Tupperware <laughs> a shaker cups. It's kind of how it goes. Haven't gotten to wash the dishes yet. I actually went to Trader Joe's. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a long time, but I really like their produce there. But I got a lot of, a lot of their stuff's in packages like this. So it has the plastic on it. And I usually will just take them out of the plastic and put them in the fridge separate. I don't leave them in there because leaving them in plastic like that, I find they go bad and yucky really fast. Okay, starting on this side of the counter. These I got, I went to Sprouts, and this is just um, dried blueberries. Mm. And I got a whole bag of oatmeal. I like their bulk bins, so then I can buy just kind of what I need. I got some cacao. I think that's how you say it, powder, because I love cooking with this um, powder, especially making brownies from scratch. Mm. I got these English muffins which uh, are awesome. Macros are awesome. So who doesn't like an um, English muffin? We've got Island Salsa from Trader Joe's. And what's this one? Double roasted salsa. So this is from Trader Joe's. This obviously, Trader Joe's. Lots of tomatoes. I got heavy whipping cream because I like to cook with this <laughs> when I make sweets. And I saw this. Because I like some of the Walden Farms products. And this is sweet cream for your coffee. So I'm going to try this out. If anybody's tried it, let me know. So so sometimes if you just want to save macros for other stuff, this is good. Um, got I love butter lettuce and the radish. So I got a couple bags of these. I got almond meal. I love cooking with almond meal. I bought two big bags of the frozen green beans, so if you can buy your veggies frozen, they're actually cheaper, and buying them frozen, a lot of the nutrients, vitamins, all the minerals are still, will still be packed in there and basically preserved until you eat them. <laughs> so I'm buying them frozen this time, because I can never use my green beans fast enough. They go bad too fast. We've got some sliced mushrooms, and I got my favorite bread. This was from Costco, Trader Joe's, obviously. Uh, Trader Joe's. So I didn't realize that I bought these two different tortillas. This one's from Costco. And this one's for Trader Joe's. I wasn't even paying attention, so I have extra tortillas. And I bought these Mission flour tortillas because I like using these every once in a while. It's okay. Because they're big and they're soft and they work well for making burritos. Avocados. Got spinach sour cream dip. This stuff is bomb diggity. And everything bagels from Trader Joe's. And I get my, my usual Greek yogurt from Costco. And all the good old crunchy cookie butter from Trader Joe's. We've got cucumber. Did you hear? Did you hear about the cookie butter? Is that something you would like? Huh? Yummy, yummy, yummy cookie butter. Ah, so good. Oh, and you're coming too? Oh, we all like cookie butter. Yes, cookie butter. Oh. <laughs> Moving on, I got some nanas, asparagus, and then I got shredded carrots and whole carrots. So I like to use shirt shredded sometimes or cooking food or having them whole. And dog treats. Because we use, we use these as dog treats, huh crew? Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. <laughs> Grapefruit. And good old salsa from Costco. Cilantro, because this is great to cook with. And fresh basil. Mm. Also, brock, baby broccoli. I love this broccoli. Oh my, what? Because I couldn't get a big enough package of mozzarella cheese. Yeah. I actually freeze this whole thing and I'll just take 
from it what I need when I want it. So it lasts a really long time. Like a really, I think the last one we just finally used up was like I got like a year ago. <laughs> I just kept it in the freezer and then just taking chunks from it as I needed cheese. But I like the mozzarella cheese. I love buying this uh, mixture of nuts, almonds, cashews, blah, 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 from Trader Joe's. Absolute favorite. So I bought two of those. Pine nuts from Costco because I freaking love pine nuts and they never have like a big, because these are can be expensive and they had a big bag at Costco. So, and I got eggs. So I like to still get whole eggs, even though I have my muscle egg here. Nah. I still get whole eggs because sometimes I want yolk. We've got bell peppers, all the colors. <laughs> strawberries because we love strawberries and mine and Zach's favorite chips so if I'm gonna snack on chips this is usually what I get they're really good and the other counter I've got some wild caught Ono this is from Costco this time I got gold potatoes and sweet potatoes from this was from Costco this is from Trader Joe's and this is from Sprouts, I believe. So I like to get the turkey bacon. You are so cute. Why are you so cute and handsome? Just, just, oh my gosh, I just want to squeeze the poop out of you. Again, I did it again. I bought this salmon at Trader Joe's and then I ended up getting this big thing at Costco. Wasn't paying attention. So yeah, so we'll just have extra salmon. Um, and then every once in a while I like to get like actual like lunch meat. So I buy, I'll buy this every once in a while from Costco, the turkey breast. And then my favorite chicken apple sausage. Buy this one from Costco because you can get like a three pack for a decent price. More for your buck. Lots of veggies. <laughs> Go through veggies actually really fast because I love veggies and you know how I stress the importance of eating your veggies and having a rainbow diet because each and every single vegetable, not just asparagus and broccoli, but everything else, they all provide a certain nutrient, um, a vitamin, a mineral that some other vegetables don't offer. So if you're only eating like broccoli and asparagus, you're missing out on a whole lot of other nutrients. So have variety in your diet, hence why I have so much stuff, because I like combining a lot of things. I don't stick with just one thing. And plus having variety like that helps with digestion. So if a lot of you find you get bloaty stomach aches and you're getting constipated, it's probably because you don't have enough variety in your diet. Having a variety helps with digestion, helps keep things moving because you're getting everything that your body needs and it'll help keep you progressing forward. <laughs> so, so many people think that healthy diet is boring and you're, it's restrictions and when po most people think diet, they just think, ah. But you can see me as fitness model, fitness nutritionist, coach, I don't have a boring diet. <laughs> I have flexibility. I have variety, um, especially when it comes to things like cookie butter and sour cream spinach dip. I mean, come on. <laughs> I enjoy these things. It's not going overboard. You know, it's just having things in moderation. I mean, perfect. I'm a perfect example of that. Just there's so many different ways and lifestyles of eating. <laughs> you just have to find what works for you, what you enjoy. Remember, it's all about, you know, being happy with what you're doing. If you're truly not happy doing it, don't do it. Um, and I know a lot of you have been asking kind of about the intermittent fasting video and I promise I'm going to be doing that. Um, I still want to give myself more time. To be perfectly honest with you, last week when I was shooting the Fit app, I was eating a lot of nuts, um, a lot of carrots, and then I was having some salads, so it wasn't that much. So I wasn't consistent. My workouts weren't that consistent. And then for two for two days when I was done, I just gorged on pizza, literally two days straight. <laughs> so 
so um so it wasn't super consistent so this week i'm back on it again feeling good because i took a break from the gym and just let my body relax and recover because it's really important to take personal days for yourself you know i i don't know exactly when i'm gonna get this video done but i i will know when I feel comfortable with um, sharing the information with you guys. So I just need to collect more info and experiment more with myself before I put that out for you guys. You know, I'm just, you know, I just want to be the professional I am <laughs> and, you know, actually be properly educated myself first before I educate you guys. Hello? What's up, Buttercup? Hi, how was your night? Good. Super late. I'm on my way back now, but training went good and it's always different going to a new gym and working with new coaches and new training partners and all that, but uh, it's exciting and everything went well and just a bunch of new opportunities, so it's exciting. Oh, that's cool. Well, yeah. I'm, really, I'm really excited for us to do a video to tell um, everybody about what you're going to be doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just more more uh, competitive stuff in martial arts, you know, it's like I just, it's always something different and I want to do as much as I can while I can and what I'm passionate about, so, yeah. yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I, just, uh, I just wanted to call and let you know that I was still alive, and I know it's super late, but I'm on my way back, so right. I will see you soon. Well, that's good. It's good you're alive. <laughs> I am alive. Uh, okay, I'll see you shortly. Drive safe. All right, I love you. All right, love you too. Bye. Bye. Okay, Honey Buns needs to put all this away now. I need to um, get focused here. It is almost 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> and I still need to prep meals for tomorrow. Tomorrow's another early day. Arr! I just made something amazing last night. But we take one banana, key lime, muscle egg. That's pretty much it. We're going to make what I am calling pancakes. Pancakes! <laughs> the first thing we're going to start with, if you... Have, if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend getting one. It's a Ninja Professional. My girl Emily Hayden inspired me because she had this when she made her protein ice cream. And it was so freaking good. <laughs> it blended so well. So I used it for the first time last night with making my little band cakes. And amazing. So good. So we are going to uh, make some band cakes. Banana. 12 ounces of key lime so we'll put it on here zero it out I'm going to put the lid on so it makes it super frothy <laughs> cakes are done so they just look like pancakes kind of messy but they are freaking amazing lime key lime and banana and then I use pancake syrup on it to die for so pretty much low carb high protein no fat and it's good <laughs> you can eat them hot or I will actually put them in the fridge overnight and eat them in the morning so they're cold and they taste like a dessert. Mm. Mm. Cake. 